Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are making bone broth, slow cooker beef bone broth. I really haven't been feeling good for the last couple of days. My stomach's off, I'm really achy, I'm completely exhausted. I haven't been able to train and as you can hear my voice is a little hoarse. I feel like I've got a virus and there's so much stuff going around because we're all together again, we're all mingling, so stuff's gonna happen. No, it's not the dreaded C word. I have tested negative multiple times. If you haven't made or had bone broth before, it is absolutely beautiful and so simple to make. Bone broth is an absolute carnivore staple and it's not just for those times where you're feeling sick or run down. I highly recommend having a cup a day as an elixir for the body. Beef bone broth contains an absolute wealth of nutrients and is so good for the body. And so before my voice turns into Kathleen Turner, let's get cooking. So I first start with about a kilo of beef bones, beautiful beef bones that I got from my butcher. And as you can see, I've lined a baking tray or baking dish with parchment paper. So I'm just going to start arranging those. You want a little bit of space around it. Don't crowd it. And we're going to pop that into a preheated oven. I'm preheating that to about 180 degrees. So my oven is nice and hot. That's been heating up to the 180 degrees. All the bones are arranged in the tray and it's time to pop them in the oven. And here are the beautiful roasted beef bones. I roasted these for around half an hour. And here are the bones arranged in my slow cooker, which I've been preheating on the lowest setting for around 20 minutes. And then I start adding my water. I've added about six to eight cups. This is the amount of liquid to bones that I end up with. It's okay if a couple of the bones are sticking out of the water. It'll all eventually settle a little bit as the broth cooks. One eternity later. So this is the 12 hour mark of cooking our broth and you can see the depth and the richness of that color is just gorgeous. Feel free to use any seasonings you wish to or any apple cider vinegar. I've chosen not to. I'm just using the Redmond's Original Salt and the Redmond's Chef's Blend Smoke Salt. Beautiful depth of flavor. So here is the beautiful bone broth with the bones removed, ready to be strained into a bowl. Look at that liquid gorgeousness. And here is the bone broth after it's been poured through a sieve to get rid of any bones or debris that you don't want in there. I'm going to set that to the side, let it cool down because I want the fat to come to the top. Some people like to leave it, I like to skim it. And here I skimmed a lot of that fat off, left a little bit of it. I'm not too fussed about those specks. We all know that fat is good for us, um, but I like my broth just a little bit lighter. You can choose to leave all that fat on the top and let that heat and melt back into your broth when you reheat a cup or two, but I've just chosen to take mine off. And you can also save that fat to cook with also. And here is the end result. Does that not look absolutely divine? All right, so I've come outside to enjoy my beautiful mm, hot bone broth, um, get some vitamin D, get a bit of sun in my eyes in a minute and just enjoy this beautiful day here in Australia. The cicadas are singing, there's a beautiful breeze. It is super hot, but uh, it's super gorgeous. Bit of the bushland there for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any tips on how you like to make your bone broth, please feel free to drop in the comments below. See you next time.